Welcome back to Famous Fortunes. Uh, today in the news, we have found out that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have quit social media. Uh, I've, I've just read this, it's just come out. Uh, and they're quitting for good, apparently. They're not coming back, they have no plans to come back. That is going to be the end of their endeavors on social media uh, indefinitely. So quite a large, quite a big, significant move they're taking those two uh, to do this. Uh, and the question on all of our minds is why? What was the real reason they quit social media? Because they're going to, they're going to say they have to give a reason and you can read the reasons in the articles about the topic. You can see it on their social media. Uh, that doesn't interest us. Let's do some peeking behind the scenes as to what was the real reason they actually quit their social media. So that is the topic of this episode. And that is something that we you can see they've made a decision. That is something that they're... They've made a big decision here, and let's get to the real reason why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have quit social media. Let's get down to the real reason and have a look, see what we can see. Let's lay some cards out. Underlying energy of the spread here is the Eight of Cups. So underlying us, they are, they're walking away from social media. That's, that's so, that much is true. They're absolutely walking away and they're actually very disappointed with how it went for them. They, they, when they, when they got on social media, they had a certain expectation of what to expect from it. They had uh, certain goals that they wanted to achieve with that social media platform or the social media platforms. And they are walking away here in disappointment. Uh, so this decision, the underlying energy of the decision is disappointment. It uh, comes, it stems from their emotions and they're not satisfied with what the outcome has been with social media. So much so that they have decided to can it and to move um, to move on. Uh, so not a happy ending for their social media uh, uh, endeavors. Not a happy me uh, not a happy ending by any uh, uh, by by any means, uh, quite the opposite. So that is that underlying energy. All right, Just, we already we've already got quite a lot. So let's have a look at these cards and see what else we can see. So we have here the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have here the Five of Wands. We have here the Knight of Swords. The last card we have the moon. Okay, so this, th these cards here are building on the underlying energies. They're building on the underlying energies in terms of the, the emotionality of what's happened. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that because I'm gonna start from left to right on this. 
Okay, but this is important. We're going to come back to this as to why this is so important. I'm just going to leave that there for the moment because those two cards are related. Okay, so we've got here the Seven of Pentacles. We have... This is the beginning of their endeavor. They had goals in mind. This was... This was actually largely to do with gain for them. This was to do with material gain and work. And uh, this was to, this was, I, I really, I really think this was about money for them. This was about, uh, this was about their, I'm not gonna, this isn't about, I don't, I don't think this card's about charity. This is about their, they were using social media uh, as work for them, uh, for money making purposes, to, you know, for whatever, you know, aspect they were using social media, it was definitely for their work and for their business and for, for money. So that was their rationale behind why they got into um, the social media platforms in the way that they did in the beginning. Okay, so we're going back to the beginning here. They're, this is definitely about money. They're, they're looking at their, literally, they're looking at their kind of, their business develop, and that's what they're sort of, they're, they're using and looking at social media as a way to develop their business, okay? As time progressed, there was, a, there were definitely community, there was a lot of things that were said on social media that were very negative towards them and it actually was, they copped quite a beating on social media. You can see it here in the cards. They, they, they really were flooded with things that really caused them a beating. In fact, that, that what they wanted initially never took foot and they copped a beating big time. I mean, this is, they, they copped it hard. Uh, really feeling like they were worse off from the endeavor and from the experience, much worse off than they anticipated. They never went into it to be affected in that way, but they certainly, yeah, really battered. And this is, it, it definitely did not, wasn't, social media for them wasn't a smooth thing. Social media was not a, um, it wasn't a, a smooth sailing thing for them whatsoever. It caused a lot of conflict. Now, this this here is this conflict could have been from other users of social media comments and that type of thing causing conflict. But you know what? I'm going to clarify this card as to was the conflict from you know, in terms of other users on social media causing conflict, or was this conflict within Harry and Meghan's personal life? Let's have a look. That's something I want to know. So I'm going to clarify that. And we'll see if I can make a call on what sort of conflict we're talking here, we're talking about. Because you can kind of read that both ways. You know, if I say it's just caused conflict, eh, it's not really, I think we can do better than just sort of glance at the surface. Let's see what's underneath. So I'm gonna pull some more cards here just off camera, just one second. I'll shuffle on camera so no one no one goes, oh hang on a second, you pulled those cards out from your your desk. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. All right, let's do some clarification. Let's do some clarification. All in order. All right. High Priestess, Knight of Cups. Okay. Uh, this is... This definitely represents the... Um, night night this definitely represents the the conflict originated from what was being said on social media um, and it's affected 
there's a, it, it affected Megan in particular. That's what's happening here. Megan was the real... Uh, she was really affected by this. And that's what's driven this... Um, the conflict drove these feelings. So I don't see this as this caused problems for Harry and Meghan, sort of, and that's what the tarot is talking about here. So this didn't, like, you know, cause a lot of conflict in their relationship. That's what I'm saying here. This caused a lot of conflict with people towards Meghan. Okay, that's what's happening here. All right. So... So there, there's that. Okay, so this Knight of Swords, again, this is to do with the communication towards uh, towards them coming at their social media, but in particular, it affected Megan. Uh, and it... Now, to, to sort of... To, to transition towards this major arcana here, the moon. To transition over here, this... So scenario has caused a lot of deep hurt and resentment in Megan. And that's ultimately what led them to quit social media. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've watched this far, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I should have asked that at the beginning of the video, but I didn't because I was more interested in getting this reading. Uh, on the table because I was so interested to see what was going to come up so I completely forgot but if you watched this far please subscribe uh, if you have any further questions uh, videos if you have any questions for further videos in the future drop them in the comments below alright I'll catch you next time